I had the goal of starting the season off already running sub 49 for the 400. Some may say that I was too ambitious, but I think that you have to set high goals in order to get close to them. So this week I had the same goal in mind as last meet. I ran 49.25 for my first 400 of the season and 49.50 for the second. Every day I kept thinking about that 49 second barrier and why I couldn't manage to break it. I know that my fitness is there and I know that I have it in me, I just have to put it into action. So for this week, I was ready to train hard. Monday, we started the week off with the same workout as last week. One minute hard and two minutes off. But we'll do, we'll go one minute on, two minutes off. So I have the strength go hard for one minute, then get off. The other group gets on for a minute hard, then get off. We just okay. push through like that, okay? Sounds good, y'all ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's get the first group on there. Now I want to see y'all pushing. First group, three, two, one, go. I remember from this workout is just being in the moment and forgetting about all the reps that I had to complete. I didn't think about how many other reps I had or how much longer I had to push. When my coach said go, I pedaled and when he said stop, I got off the bike. I didn't have anything else on my mind and I just focused on the workout. Not knowing what the workout was going to be actually helped because sometimes knowing what the workout is in advance stops you from being in the moment. Tuesday was another hard workout. Three sets of four by 300. The first set was smooth. We were hitting splits about 45 seconds each. Then for the last two sets, it got a lot faster. We were hitting splits about 42 to 43. With my goal in mind for the next meet, I didn't care about the pain. I ignored it and just went to work. This was a killer workout. Bro, 12 times 300. I think we averaged like 43 for 300 Sweet. and we somehow survived so that's a wrap for a Tuesday workout. A few minutes after the workout we already had weight training and this session was bound to be hard because of the workout that we had just done. Two more, two more, two more, one. There you go. Good form, good form, get out there. Ah, there you go. This is the first time that we have a workout on Wednesday. Usually we always have a long run or something very light, very smooth. Today we did 250s and 150s and it felt really good, but I think we still gotta work on our speed. Alvaro, he felt good, but he just felt slow overall. And I think that's that's normal because we haven't really been working on our speed that much. But yeah, I'm happy. Three trainings in a row, three lactic trainings, and hopefully that's gonna help me for my race this weekend in Louisville. The ambiance of walking into a track stadium is always the same. People are warming up, races are going on the track with field events right beside, fans and teammates are cheering, and it's a feeling that never gets old. 
So at the track here, they currently have it flat. For 60 meters, they keep it flat, but then for like longer distances, they'll make it banked. So I'll try to get that on camera after, but yeah, that's crazy. I don't even know how that works. The time came for my race and I was ready to run hard. I visualized running 48 every night before going to bed and how I wanted to execute the race. I thought about my sub 49 performances outdoor and wanted to replicate the same feeling. I told myself that if I did it before, I could definitely do it again. Everyone in the previous heats were opening up very fast for the first 200 and I knew that my heat was going to be the same. I never split faster than 23 for the first lap, so I stuck with the plan that I already had established. I got into my blocks feeling confident. At this point in the race, I usually kick it into an extra gear and pass the people in front of me. But this day, I don't know what happened, but something held me back. All I did was stay behind the guy that was in front of me and cruise to the finish line. After I finished, I look at the clock and once again, I see 49 on the big screen. It was better than the last 400s that I did this season, but it wasn't what I was aiming for. As soon as I finished, I went to my coach and asked him for a workout. I had to do something to forget about my race. Plus, a 400 meter race during the middle of the season isn't enough to prepare myself for conference where I might be doing two or even three events. I headed to the track right outside of the indoor facility and did four by 200 meters at 24 to 25 with two minute rest between each. I felt so much smoother in the workout than in the race and that just made me even angrier because I feel like I missed out on the chance of running a good time. For this weekend, we're only a small group of people from UE and we all improved slightly on our performances and that made us even more excited to race at the same place in Louisville for the next weekend.